How to get off heart medication? You are watching this video because you are interested to learn how to get off heart medication naturally. But first of all, before we start, a word of encouragement. The fact that you have heart disease does not mean this is a death sentence. 80% of heart disease is treatable and reversible as well. By adjusting your lifestyle, your nutrition, your habits, you can do this. I had a heart attack at the age of 45 and I managed to not just stop the progression of my heart disease but also reverse it through changes of lifestyle, nutrition and habits. So this is possible and I want to share with you today four tips on how you can do the same. Now you're watching this video for two reasons. One, God forbid, maybe like myself, you experienced a heart attack or a stroke and you're on heart medication and you want to learn how to either reduce that medication naturally or maybe even get off it altogether. The second uh, reason why you might be here is because your doctor diagnosed you with heart disease or symptoms of progression of heart disease and put you on medication. Now the problem is that some of these medications have severe side effects and I'm sure this is why you're watching this video today to learn how to get off them because these side effects could be severe. These side effects can affect all areas of life. It can create depression, it can create headaches, it can create a uh, loss of appetite, it can create uh, issues with sleep, loss of sexual drive. For us men, it could be erectile dysfunction, fear, anxiety. I mean, there's a trickle effect into every area of our lives and you're here to learn how to get off heart medication naturally and I will share with you four tips on how to do this, how I managed to do this in my life and if you are serious you can start and implement these right away. And I want you throughout this video to share in the comments your experience if you've tried any of them and how they worked out for you and where you're at on your journey. I would love to hear these things from you. So let us jump right in. Tip number one get moving, exercise. You have to get this blood flowing. You have to get this heart pumping. The only way to do this is by movement. So get your butt off the couch, stop eating those Doritos, stop watching Netflix, put your running shoes on and get out the door. Once you finish watching this video, just do it. Start where you are, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, aim towards 45 minutes a day. That's a sweet spot where your body starts to really work in a way that will help your heart and will start to help you uh, get better and better, right? Don't over uh, stretch it. Don't try and be overachiever right from the get-go. Start slowly but progress. Some of us have smartwatches, have uh, uh, smartphones that can count steps. If that's the case, I would recommend anywhere between 5,000 and 8,000 steps a day. Again, start gradually but move on and do this. No excuses, just go out there and do it. There is really no reason for you why you cannot start and move more. This is important if you're looking to get off heart medication naturally, okay? How are we doing so far? Tip number one, okay? In the comments, share with me. How far do you walk? How do you do it? What are your habits around this? I love to hear this from you, okay? Tip number two, eat clean. You have to clean your diet. Now, you heard this a thousand times, but I can tell you this. I learned over time that the underlying cause of heart disease is inflammation. Inflammation is caused by, many times, is caused by nutrients that we put in our bodies. In order to lower the inflammation, in order to help the body start and heal itself from heart disease, the best way is to eliminate foods that create inflammation. Now, you may not like what I'm about to say, but this is real, and if you are serious and committed, you will do it. The first one is, do you eat fried food? If you do, and I know you love your fried uh, fr French fries, you love your fried chicken, you love all those fried yummy things, they are a heart attack recipe, okay? Listen to this, you have to stop eating anything that is uh, fried in uh, uh, deep fried, okay? You have to do this. This is something that will help you because you need to understand that this will increase the uh, progression of heart disease and if you want to stop it, you have to eliminate it from your diet. The second thing is, and again, you're not going to like it, red meat, my friends, red meat causes inflammation. The less red meat, the better. No red meat at all, the best. Start maybe to try and get one meal a week with red meat and then try and eliminate it altogether, right? Third thing, 
maybe you're not gonna like this either dairy right dairy and milk these are again inflammatory inducing nutrients that do not contribute to your health especially if you have heart disease and you're trying to get off your heart medication you have to eliminate these things out of your diet okay tip number three sleep you need to understand that the body can recover only during sleep now quality of sleep is something that we strive for and maybe right now because of the medication because of your condition you're not having good quality of sleep but you have to start and change that you have to aim towards you know seven to nine hours of sleep a night and what happens is we have what's called the circadian cycle this is how our hormonal system adjusts our sleep so before uh, bedtime when it's dark the body starts to produce melatonin which is a hormone that tells us hey chill down uh, go to bed it's time to sleep right so don't agitate yourself before sleep don't watch screens don't watch you know aggressive TV or the news because your mind will get crazy before you go to bed and you can't sleep the other part of it is try and go to bed at the same time every night and wake up at the same time every morning this will help you adjust that circadian cycle and therefore start to increase the quality of your sleep so that's the tip tip number three which is really important sleep quality is of the highest importance for you because this is when recovery takes place okay now tip number four stress management look I don't care how crazy your life is and how insane your work is and your responsibilities and everything else I run companies I've been in the same place you have to understand that too much stress can induce a heart attack it happened to me I had other underlying conditions before that but that stress level just brought it much faster into reality so you need to control stress now here's an exercise for you for the next two days write down on a piece of paper every time you have a stressful scenario in your life a story you created the what if the scenarios that can happen and then frighten you and get you all anxious and, 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 and un unstable right write them down and then two days later go and review those notes and see what really materialized and I can tell you this most of them if not even all of them never even happened but the stress created in our minds because of that was tremendous this is where you need a mentor this is where you need a coach to give you perspective about what's going on in your life to show you that sometimes what is you think can happen or you the worst case scenario is not really that so this is very important now how are we doing so far four tips okay so far write in the comments your experience have you tried them have you seen any success what are the challenges that you encounter because I gave you here you know kind of an overall look at four tips on how to get off heart medication but at the end of the day they are all layered one on top of the other and the way we do it is how we achieve success this is what I do with my clients this is what I do with the heart guardian system it's a very structured process to put all these parts in play and get the success that you need and hopefully get you off heart medication or at least start and see reduction of quantities therefore uh, reduction of side effects because of them so my friends this is it for the video today please share in the comments and just to finalize here subscribe click the button I will share more videos of this they are coming more and more and if you like this type of content share let me know so I can create more of this for you guys go and click the link below this video it will give you access to my free members site only and you guys are gonna get access for life for this website this is a website filled with information videos content articles everything to do with heart health tips and it will give you a lot of information that you can start and learn and implement so just click the button below you'll have a few questions to answer before you get access to that website those questions will allow me to understand where you are what's going on in your life and maybe we can get in touch and see if I can help you on your journey if you like this video please like it and subscribe to my channel more videos are coming your way all the best and as always stay strong and healthy